Welcome back. This is now question number 10 from the paper four for the specimen of 2020 IGCSE uh, Cambridge examinations. Here we have um, a question about volumes and surface areas. So it's 10a show that the volume of a metal sphere of radius 15 centimeter is 14,140 centimeters cubed. Correct to four significant figures. Okay, so they tell us the volume of a sphere. So this is pretty simple. You just have to plug in the values. So V is equal to, now take care, it's a, it's a sphere. Sometimes they might say hemisphere, which would mean it'd be half of this volume, but it's fine. It says sphere. So that's four over three times pi times R, which is 15 cubed. Okay, it's a simple case of just plugging that into your calculator. So you have four over three pi. So four over three pi times 15 cubed, simple as that. 15 cubed, four over three pi times 15 cubed, which gives us 4,500 pi. I'll write it line, down like this first, 4,500 pi, which is gonna give us, if you just press the S to D button, it will give us this as a decimal. Uh, so let me put it over here. That gives me 14,137.166, um, or I'll put 166 here, 14,137, whoops, 14,137, 14,137, 14,137. 14,137. 14,137. 14,137. 14,137. 14,137. 14,137. Is the first non-zero number which is, is the one so one two three four we got to round up to here so we're going to have one four one and then this three becomes a four and don't forget to fill in all the spaces before the decimal point with zeros basically when they say correct to four significant figures it's telling you to round to the place of this the place value of this number here which is in the place of the tens so they're basically telling you in this question to round to the nearest ten which gives you 14,140. And then we have the answer to 10A. 10B, uh, part one, the sphere is placed inside an empty cylindrical tank. Now remember the volume of the sphere was in its exact form, 4,500 pi. It's very useful to keep it written down somewhere in its exact form, because you might need it. I think we're gonna need it here. The sphere, the one we talked about there, is placed inside an empty cylindrical tank of radius 25 centimeters and height 60 centimeters. The tank is filled with water. Calculate the volume of water needed to fill the tank. Well, the amount of water that's needed to fill the tank will be the volume of the tank minus the volume of the sphere, because that's the only space that's in there for the water. You have to uh, take away the volume of the sphere from the volume of the tank, because that space is taken all up and the water won't be able to fill that place. So the volume of the tank minus the volume of the sphere will be the answer. And the volume of the tank, well, the tank is a cylinder, and the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base, the cross-sectional area times the height. So it's going to be pi r squared h. So in that case, it's going to be pi times 25 squared times 60 minus our answer from before, which is 4,500 times pi in terms of pi. That makes our answers more accurate if you use them in the accurate form. So you have pi multiplied by 25 squared multiplied by 60 minus 4,500 pi. And that gave us 33,000 pi. 33,000 pi. So 33, 30, let me clear that up a bit. 33,000 pi, which we then round. 1,000 pi. Now we have to round our answer if it's not specified to three significant figures. So um, we have to work out what this is first. Press S to D. So it's going to be 103672.55. 103672.55. Okay, 103672.55. Says five five seven six. So I'll just five five seven six. All right. So we want to round it to three three significant figures, which is going to be up to this point. You have a one, and then the zero, then the three. No, zeros that pair, a pair between significant figures are significant. So it's going to be a hundred and four 
So basically, they're telling you to round to the nearest thousand. So it's going to be 104,000. Okay, the, de the rest of the numbers you fill in with zeros until the decimal point. So 104,000. That's to the nearest thousand. Okay, and there's the answer um, to part to B part one. Now B part two says the sphere is removed from the tank. Calculate the depth of water in the tank. Okay, now so the the the, the tank was completely filled with water first, and then this was removed. The volume, um, the volume or the sphere was removed. So the volume of water that dropped is equal to the volume of the sphere because the water that the sphere was taking up the place of the water when it was removed that same amount of water you know the the, the volume that that fell of water is equal to the volume of the sphere that was taken out so the volume of this cylinder okay the volume of the cylinder let's call this um the height that's the height that the water dropped x we know the total height of the cylinder it was 60 so if we can work out this x, how much the water dropped by, then our answer will be, our answer to the depth will be 60 minus x. So how do we find x? Well, we know the dimensions of the cylinder. We know that the radius is 25. And we also know that the volume of this water is 33. The, the volume of the, the, um, the part that was removed is the volume of the cylinder this is the same as the volume of the of the of, sorry not the cylinder the volume of the sphere which is 4500 pi so this volume is 4500 pi because it represents the same volume as a sphere because when the sphere was removed that same amount of water dropped down so the volume of the empty space there is equal to the volume of the sphere all right so now what we can do is we can set up a little equation we can say okay the volume of the cylinder here is going to be pi times r squared, which is 25 squared, times the height of the cylinder, which we called x, and that's equal to 4,500 pi, or 4,500 pi. Now, the good thing about not multiplying by pi in your steps so that you can write things in the exact form is something like this. The pi's will cancel out. So x is going to be 4,500 over 25 squared so we can work out that 4500 4500 whoops there's a one there what's that doing there 4500 divided by 25 squared remember the pi is cancelled out we don't have to write them now and that gives us 36 over 5 which is 7.2 now remember that's not our answer because they want um it's in centimeters okay so they want not the amount that the water dropped by but the depth of water in the tank that's left so that's going to be 60 because the, to the total depth was 60 of the whole thing so d is equal to 60 minus 7.2 which is going to be 52.8 so you're going to have 50 60 minus the answer that we got which gives you 52.8 as i said so that's 52.8 centimeters and that's the answer to part to be part two is there any other parts of this question so in part c the diagram below shows a solid circular cone and a solid sphere so the cone has a radius of 5x centimeters and a height of 12x centimeters the sphere has a radius of r centimeters the cone has a has the same total surface area as the sphere okay so the total surface area of the cone is equal to the total surface area as of the sphere okay now show that r squared equals 45 over 2x squared and they told us a piece of information which is quite important that the curved surface area a of a cone with radius r and slant height l is a equals pi r l and the surface area of a sphere with radius a is 4 pi r squared so we know the surface area of this is 4 pi r squared we don't have any more detail than that but the surface area of this is made up of two parts this is why you have to be careful and that's why they've got this in bold type always be careful when you see something that's in bold type because it's giving us our attention that there's something important about it and the fact that it's a solid 
cone is important because it means that it's not hollow. So if so, this part here is part of the surface of the cone, the base. So the surface area of the cone, the total surface area is not just pi r l. That's just the curved part. So the surface area of the cone is made up of pi times the radius times l plus pi times the radius times x squared. Now I've, I've called this big R, so it's different from this little r. Okay, this is a different radius here than that. Okay, so pi r l is the surface area of the curved part and pi times r, which is five pi squared, five, sorry, five x squared is, is gonna give you the surface, the area of the surface of the base of the cone, which is a circle. So we need to find this slant height, which is, this is the slant height. This is the L referred to in this particular formula. So we need to know what the slanted height of this cone is. And we know that 12x is a height, so that's 12x from there to there. And we know that height directly above the base, that's a right angle. So we can find what the slant height is by using Pythagoras. It's going to be the square root of 12, 12 squared, 12x all squared, plus 5x all squared, which gives you, that's 144 plus 25, which is 169x squared. We find the square, it gives you 13x. So I know that this is 13x, the slant height. So we can work out the surface area of the cone is equal to pi times r, which is 5x, times l, which we just worked is 13x, plus pi times r, which is 5x squared. This is the area of the curved part. This is the area of the circular base. Now that's going to give us 65x squared. So 65 times pi x squared plus 25, 5, 5 squared, 25, pi x squared, which is 90 pi x squared. So that's the surface area of the cone. And the surface area of the sphere, we don't have information except to say that it's 4 pi r squared, and they're equal to each other. Okay, so the surface area of the cone and the surface area of the sphere are the same, as we wrote over here. So as that's true, we can say 4 pi r squared, is equal to 90 pi x squared. And we've got to express r squared, the formula in terms of r squared, in terms of x squared, r squared in terms of x squared. So we've got to divide by 4 pi. Okay, so you have 90 pi x squared over 40 pi. Now the pi's cancel out. That's uh, so not 44. Where did the 40 come from? Over 4 pi. Okay, the pi's cancel out. 90 divided by 4 is equal to, is equal to, that's going to be, um, yeah, divided, both of them are divisible by 2, so you divide by 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45. So you have 45x squared over 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that's shown exactly what we're asked to show. And I think that was the whole of this question. And we're done. Okay, so... The important thing here to uh, realize is the slanted height is found by using Pythagoras' theorem with the radius and the vertical height. And the fact that it's a solid circular cone, we don't just use pi r l. We also use the base of the cone, which is a circle, pi times the radius squared. And there we have the answer to question, um, what is it? Question number 10, completed. Now, thank you for watching. The playlist for the rest of this paper is going to appear somewhere over here. The playlist for the um, topic of areas and volumes, mensuration, is going to appear over here. There will be a link um, on a card up here for the paper two solutions. And you can subscribe to the channel somewhere over here. There will be a little icon. Thank you for watching.